depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. So that's my boy Dave with T&B Motors, Mansfield. We about to uh, just try to put this up on the uh, the trailer. Were well, we supposed to get some rain today, Dave? Uh -huh. We supposed to get some rain? Nah, uh, it's later on, maybe. Mm. So I grabbed this foam board so that the that the that the back uh, of the backboard doesn't make contact with the door. So the backboard doesn't make contact with the door. Oh, you mean that? you gotta put it up against? It. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Makes sense. Those extensions, you probably shouldn't even have to even come close. Yeah, to but the with the extensions they rock forward a little yeah, bit. Yeah. So. You can use that. Yes. Load it up and come here. Yeah, I know, right? I know, right? Seems legit. Yeah, the car is not even going to be nowhere near it. <laughs> but yeah, I got four. How much you pay for that? Nothing. They gave it to me free. Oh, that's nice. I only need about half of it, so if you want the other half, you no, can have it. Why well, you rent, right? Yes, sir. So I got the forklift extension on the other side. I gotta, uh, I might be able to squeeze between the bus. Yeah, I know, right? You can back it up, you said? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't think, I don't think you need to. Let me see. I don't think you always go around the other side. No, I should have enough space. Right, cool. I should be enough space. I'm gonna cool. pull this off and then, instead of lugging those getting heavy, Forklift extensions. They're like 35 pounds a piece. Spread the forks first before I even can put the extensions on. There you go. And then, nope, just pull it, just pull it through here. Pull it there, Mike. Yep, that's it. Just pull it. Got it? Let's just pull this down. There you go. Uh, lift up on that? Is why then I lift up on it? Oh, it's up. Yeah, they keep lifting up on it. And then they gotta get this all in. Go up, ready? There you go. Voila! Voila! Yeah, just leave them all the way out, right? Yeah. How they go on? So they go on one way. Yep, that's it.
Maybe I should just leave it like that, right? Why don't I carry that over here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go around to the other side. All right, guys, moment of truth here. Seatbelt on. That's my baby. Ah. Damn, Dave, you couldn't even close the door. I didn't get my... Sorry, dude. A little cooperation, huh? Well, you say pick it up more towards the front, right? Because of the engine? How am I looking on that mirror? You think it's gonna hold? Yeah? Just teetering that way. Mm. <laughs> Am I clearing the trailer? No, 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 I'm saying with the fork, the length. Are we looking good?
You think I should pick it up and scooch it in some? Solid, dude. Ah, uh, damn. Let's be proud to be an American, bro. Huh? Don't have to drive it ever again. Yeah, I know, right? See, that's how much lift I want. But I, I told Brock I wasn't happy with the springs when he installed them. I think that's as high as you can go. Huh? I think that was as high as they can go. It was some sort of technical thing or something. I, to, I don't know. Nah. But like, look how it sits now. I should, I should be able to have that much lift. Why not? I don't know if it's got something to do with the drive shaft or what. I mean, it's going to settle a little bit, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's got something to do with the clearance of the drive shaft or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, so now I'm going to crisscross applesauce this. Thanks, Dave. I owe you. You sure? I'll bring you some food next time. Hey, I got a call. You got a call? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, all set. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. Oh, damn. I, I bent the exhaust. God damn it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good, baby, baby. All right, so now I'm before strap this. That's my girl though. Oh. Let's see. I don't need this one. I just need the hooks. Yeah, that's my car, y'all. I got a lot of rust up there. Up there. And... Let's see. So let's see. I don't need that hook. I don't need that hook. I might be able to use this. Let me see. Let me get up there. I'm going to see what it's like when I get up there. That's what I was afraid of. Thought you had a call, Dave. <laughs> You're lying. the strap went yeah crisscross applesauce I don't got no way to secure the tires so
Thanks, Dave. I appreciate it. No problem, buddy. Anytime. All right. See you later. Yes, sir. All right. So I want the one with the flat part over here. Maybe I should move that closer to the edge. My little dinosaur arms. That's gonna go there. I think I'm gonna have to put this over here. I'll get to that in a second. That that make sure I got enough winches everywhere. I mean ratchets. Just need one more strap. loop technique like that so it's not gonna come undone to get some rain it was nice earlier all right i'm gonna show you how to do these straps so you make them like ribbons this is how my buddy b-rad showed us R.I.P. to be red. He was a good funny man. Sing you a song and rub your back while y'all sleep. You ever got in the arms of B-Rad? You'll know what love is like and you'll know what it's like to be loved. B-Rad was awesome. So kind of like the loop, swoop, and pull from Big Daddy, the movie. So he always said make sure you pull it tight. Wrap it around again. Pull it tight. And for good measure, pull it tight again. And I'm gonna just tie up these loose ends.
Just doing my ribbons real quick. This is how my buddy B-Rad showed us. Um, RIP to B-Rad. He was a good dude. He, uh, he had diabetes so bad that he had to get, I don't know, some type of surgery done or something. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't give him pain medicine. So, yeah, he was in agony and his family didn't do for him. Yep. A little bit tighter for what? This? You don't think that's tight? No? All right. Not for a car. Well, you got to remember, I still got to... I know, but you don't pull down on this side more. I always wait till I can get the whole thing strapped down. I'll go back around. And well, excuse me. I don't strap down cars for a living. That's why I'm trying to help you. Oh, my God. You want to be in my YouTube video so bad. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Listen, I give a man a sandwich. He wants to teach me a life lesson. Hey, uh, anything I can do to help you. <laughs> right? Anything I can do to pay back the sandwich. Right? All right. You want to give me that side? So I don't have to jump down. Yeah. So I don't gotta jump down. You know, I was just telling them earlier, right? I was on uh, I was on the YouTubes earlier and uh, I was recording a video and uh, I had told them uh, so crazy how, like I almost flipped over. Well, I did flip over my forklift once. Somebody's ch coming down here in a Dodge Ram. Uh, yeah. And uh, so yeah, uh, I flipped over the forklift, but I was trained to like not wear a seatbelt. So yeah, I was trained not to wear a seatbelt, and uh, eh, I think I'm gonna try it a different way right now. Uh, yeah, so I was trained not to wear a seatbelt, and uh, just in case you were gonna flip over your forklift, you can, uh, you know, jump out. I was like, man, I'm, I'm supposed to jump out. Well, training I've done, you ain't supposed to jump out. You hold yeah, on. yeah, I know, right? But I was training not to wear a seatbelt though. <laughs> so just in case you know something like that were to happen, you can bail out. And I was like, listen, for those of you who have seen me, I'm fat. I got the reflexes of a dead cow, so ain't no way I'm gonna footer man out of there. I think I got blood on my straps, man. Some way, somehow. These straps are taking forever.
Oh man, this heartburn is killing me, Small. You can cut that zip tie. You got you can hold it up. Uh-huh. And then there's a that rubber bushing right there. Yep. Should be able to just push this right off. It might be a little stuck, but no, it's, you're not gonna be able to. No, nope. Oh wait. It should just push right off, one way or another. So cut the zip ties. You cut these zip ties here because that's all. That's yeah, because I can't come back for this exhaust. I bent it. Well, See? I, no, I would just. Well, because where it broke, you can just do cat back. Cause you got your flange right here. So you can just do a I don't want to do a cat back. I want to do a cat front. And send it. All right, so I got to cut the zip ties first. Yeah, I will cut the zip ties right. first. I'm gonna cut this video off right now.